Hi friends, um, Matt Holtzfein here. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I was in the acting company at Players uh, from 2014 to 2018. Um, such memorable roles as Arthur in Lord Arthur Savile's Crime. Uh, I was the tenor in Lend Me a Tenor and the almost in Almost Made. Well, you also might not recognize me because I've got this long hair now and much longer than it usually is and I'm sporting my quarantine beard, which is filling in nicely. Um, so I'm hunkered down here in Brooklyn uh, and um, as I'm sure most of you writing this out and I'm wishing all of you and those around you the very best right now. Um, and um, believe me, there's no place I would rather be right now than Door County, Wisconsin with uh, all of you. But since we can't be together personally, uh, we can be together virtually, um, which is kind of what this is all about. Uh, so while I have you here, I'm going to tell you uh, the story of this song that I wrote about pencil players called Three Squares a Day. Um, so flashback, if you will, to my first summer in players. And uh, I was a young, excited, nervous little kid, you know, trying to find who my next friend would be. And lo and behold, I am obliged to do a shenanigan. What is a shenanigan? Um, a shenanigan, uh, if you've probably heard by now, is uh, part of the whole Christmas in July festivities where you are obligated to do maybe a small little task in order to earn a gift from your secret Santa. Uh, and my secret Santa was the lovely, lovely and talented Christine Thatcher. And if I recall, uh, her note to me was, um, we know you can play and sing, so play and sing us a song at lunch tomorrow. I was like, awesome, great. What am I gonna do? And so I go up to my cabin and I'm thinking about what the songs I can sing and what's gonna be cool and what's everyone gonna like and blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, and then I thought, well, what if I just made up a song? And maybe it can be about players and it'll just be short and sweet and we'll do some things. And I was like, okay, great. Now, what do I, what do I want to sing about players? What are, what's like my favorite thing about players that I can sing about? And it hit me. The food. The food. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some excellent, excellent, excellent things about players. There's the shows. There's the beautiful scenery and the theater by the bay. There's Greg Vinkler doing whatever Greg Vinkler does all the time. Great things is what I'm saying. But you also get fed three times a day. They literally ring a bell and we all come and we eat. And um, it's a beautiful thing. And hear me out. I venture to say that this is kind of one of what makes players the most special. Um, when we all come and eat together three times a day, there's, there's no levels. It's all everyone together. There's the directors eating with the carpenters who are eating with the designers who are eating with the interns who are eating with the actors who are eating with the admin staff. And everyone becomes a really close family very quickly. Um, it's a beautiful thing and it's a rare thing and it's something that I cherish. Uh, and I think it's what makes players very special. I mean, beyond the sustenance factor, of course. I mean, I, I do have an empty one of bees, so you had me at food, but, uh, so I was inspired, if you will. And so I s started out with like a stupid little song and then it kind of grew into a really long, stupid song, and then it became what it is right now, which is three squares a day. Um, so yeah, that's the story. Um, usually when I sing it, it has the cooks who happened to be there that year, and for posterity, I decided this one, I put all the cooks that have been there since I've been there in there, because they all deserve to be sung about. Um, I wish you all the very best. I miss you. 
Uh, I can't wait till we uh, get to be together again by the bay and have a drink by the bonfire. So till then, love and be loved. When I was a youngster, my mother sang this song. You must eat three square meals a day to grow up big and strong. And from that day I've labored to follow her advice. I try to eat a proper meal, not once, not twice, but thrice. But living as an artist is harder than it seems. It's difficult to feed oneself in this economy. Sometimes it's hard to find the time to eat three meals a day. A donut, a granola bar, and perhaps Chipotle. But then I took my journey to a garden to escape my current gastronomic hell. A place where fine art blossoms in a theater by the bay and where you can get fed after a bell. Now I get three squares a day. chicken breast. The ones who hold the answers, I love them from the start. Lori, Shirley, Allison, sometimes Brian, Justin, Paul, and Deb are their names. They really do their part. They whip up gourmet meals for us again and yet again. Tasty treats for who eat meats and vegetarians. a day.